Hello, integrals and the French rolls. It's Noel. Welcome back to my kitchen. And today I'll be serving you a retreat law video. It's going to be using Team Aqua's muck and stadium to skyrocket the retreat costs, make make life miserable for pretty much everyone, including myself, and try to do something a bit sneaky. So I'm going to show you how this deck works, explain or explain how the deck works, and you're going to see some epic struggles of trying to control the board with this deck. So it's going to be pretty awesome. Let's start off with Team Aqua Smug. The whole point of his life is to sit on the bench and do nothing. But while it's there, the retreat cost of everybody increases by one. Don't read what's in the parentheses. Everybody's retreat cost is pretty much nobody's going to retreat. So I'm trying to get four more retreat costs by getting all the four mucks out and then getting a secret base so they can hell all chill in there and five retreat costs total if everything works out as planned. So all the mucks in the secret base, everyone's Everyone's not going to move back from the active slot. And while all this is happening, I'm going to try Lysander, their most worthless Pokemon in the active position. Now, even the most worthless Pokemon can do something, so you can see why this is a bit of a struggle. But in my own active, I have 150 hit point Gudra, who can snipe off bench. So, 20 damage for every retreat cost there is. So, it's taking advantage of the situation and hitting off the bench Pokemon quickly before whoever is in the active can uh, do something about it. That's going to vary from game to game. And it's going to be pretty epic too. So to help make this deck work, I'm using Evil Soda to help evolve my Pokemon. They're all evolution Pokemons. And Wally, which is a little bit different in that I could actually skip a turn and evolve two Pokemons in the same turn if I got the cards. And he helps go through my deck and find them out so helps both muck and gudra now to help gudra out you see this is pretty expensive so a double colors energy as well as a double dragon energy will help gudra attack so three double dragons four double colors and muck is not going to be able to be able to do anything at all and to help gudra out i'm gonna have crushing hammers this is to hopefully remove some energies off the active who's worthless in the first place and help keep gudra alive then we have some verse seekers to repeat my supporters, repeat those Lysanders, keep my opponent from doing anything. And as for my draw systems, I'm using Tierno. It makes sense because I don't want to shuffle or discard my evolution cards. I need to keep like several of them in my hand to make things work out. You know how it goes. I have Sycamore just in case my hand just really sucks. I don't just get rid of it, get a whole new hand. I've got Birch, pretty much the same thing. I don't have to discard my hand, but I have to deal with them. Very, very jerk of a professor. Now, I'm using Pokemon Fan Club because it gets my basic Pokemons out and well, used by other evolution trainers to help well, blow with the chain. And I think that is it. They're like, does this deck really work? You're gonna see some very awesome matches. So, let's oh. get We're still here. Welcome to another Gudra match. It's just started. I have a Grimer that cannot attack whatsoever. There's no energies they can use. And he's starting off with his Shaman, so we're both in a pretty, pretty lame spot. But I'm gonna throw this out and hold because next turn both Grimers are gonna evolve. The retreat cost could be so heavy that even even Shaman won't be able to retreat. But it has the sky return, so that's technically a can retreat. So yeah, we gotta do something about that. But this is a toga. Hey, this is from last video. You know exactly what it does. I hate to see what it's charging up. So these roller skates are... One of them was defective. I discarded my stadium. Skyfield. Burge? Fairies? This is a Gardevoir deck? Uh, Tails? Ooh, Burge. Burge. Okay. So, let's, let's just use some of these cards. Oh, I hate to lose one of these. But, it just happens. So, the retreat cost is so high. And it looks like it was Skyfield. It's that's not a fairy stadium, so we can't zero that retreat. Otherwise, it'll be bad for me. So what do we got? We finally got a Gumi. I can retreat it. Let me just go ahead and throw this down. And okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and retreat it. Let's go ahead and retreat. Send the Gumi out and Togepi up in front. So this way, Shaman can't attack. So this Togepi is like a fat Togepi. Fat maybe <laughs> three three hit points or three retreat costs. So is Togetic. Oh darn, this is Rayquaza. 
Let's see if he has switches. Ooh. This, this deck is definitely very, very familiar. Very, very, very familiar. All right, so very, very, very bad Togekiss work. It's gonna get even better. Let's go ahead and evolve this. And at this point, I need more cards. I need more cards. We've got a Muck and yeah, I can't attack. Nope, I can't attack. There's so much stuff going on. Gonna try to paralyze. This does not work, but it doesn't. There's four retreat costs on this one retreat cost. Totally kiss. So there was a shaman. Six guards, but can he retreat? Sligu's not ready to go into combat, guys. Oh, we discard Lysander. That would have been bad for me. Mega Rayquaza is now out, and this last card is definitely a shame. Oh, man. Nope, this is the second one. That's just as good. Roller Skates. Oh, just be... Oh, man. This draw power. 26 cards versus 3. No. Well, you can't retreat this. This thing has 4 retreat. Maybe he does not know what these things... He hasn't realized what this thing says. He's like, yeah, nope. What am I going to do now? Am I really going to put 4 energies on this? You know, he might. He might just toggle kiss and put more energies on this. But he's got to put energies on the Shaman instead. And he, playing all these Shamans so Rayquaza has car, bench and friends. And you know what? I have a Sky Field. I'll go ahead and grab these Goomies because I'm stuck on card, guys. Man, maybe I should... Hmm. I don't know. I should put a Shaman. This version of the deck does not have Shaman. So maybe another match video might. So... You know, I'm not sure why I put that Goomy down. Because if, when I discard the stadium, it's gonna go, go down. Lysander, he's like, yeah, I'll pull this out. Oh man, and then when I escape rope, this thing is gonna, it's gonna. But, you know, this might be weird. He might just deck out before I do. Putting an energy on, okay. So, let's go ahead and play a Crushing Hammer and discard some energies off the, um, uh, well, something of it worked. So, that didn't work. I'm going to go ahead and evolve my Pokemon. Pokemon Fan Club is not going to give me anything, and I'll end my turn. So what's going to end up happening is I'm going to have to use a Retreat. And an Escape Rope, and then Lysan or something worthless out. So, this lock is working perfectly. He's trying to get energies to Retreat this Togekiss. He may, uh, may actually work. Okay. Finally, four energies to retreat the Togekiss. Well, look who I have right here. Rayquaza's up. Yes. Get rid of one of these mucks. And let's go ahead and get something worthless out. And we're going to Lysander this Togepi out. And wait until I actually get some cars, like a Kudra. So we're going to try to paralyze this Togepi. There we go. This Togepi is paralyzed, but it's so, look at it. It's so happy. It doesn't care. It's like, oh, whatever. So you're going to... Try to evolve it. It looks like we spent a lot of energies already. One energy is like, oh man, I gotta retreat this. Same four retreat costs. One Grimer down. I, if I can discard the stadium, that'd be awesome. Togekiss gonna evolve it. And does he enough energies to do this again? No, he doesn't. He's about to deck out. Oh shoot, what does this do? Get three better... Oh, oh, I should have Lysander the Togekiss. Okay, we're, we're in trouble now. We're in trouble now. We're going to discard this right now, and then he's going to have to force will throw off his Shamans. I don't know if that was good or not. So he's definitely going to have energies, but he's used up all his Togekiss. So he's going to throw off the Shamans. Yep. Yes, sir. And he's definitely got enough energies to do something. So we gotta paralyze this paral paralyze it and next turn you're gonna go into evolve stage. So that did not work. Don't kiss is like whatever. Okay, Birch, there were three energies that went back in the deck. Oh man, there are energies there. Discarded my stadium and he's trying to charge up two more energies. Two more energies, so maybe one more turn. Oh man, that is not cool. This is not cool. I pulled off the wrong pulled off the wrong card guys Lysander the wrong card so I'm finally gonna get the Lugu drop and we're gonna try to take out Mega Rayquaza before I can do anything so once again liquid blow Rayquaza two more attacks so hopefully we'll not charge up in two more attacks 
otherwise, or I can just get another Sligu to come and try to get rid of this. Nine cards versus 22. Man, I need some more cards, guys. I really need them. Okay, so you know what's going on. Alrighty. It's gonna put energies on the Togetic, but it may not be enough for Rayquaza to go. So one more energy, then another one, then the retreat. So it really depends if I can, if I can, man, if I Lysander, if I was forgot about what Togetic does, if I Lysander this Togetic, that would have been it. That would have been it. So we're gonna keep on attacking Mega Rayquaza and hopefully Sligu will be enough, uh, will be able to finish, finish it off, the job off. 80 damage. Whoa, he had, how'd you attack me? Fairy Wind? Fairy Wind does double damage, oh, to me. Okay, so I can't allow Xander. I guess I could escape rope. Okay. Awesome Togetic doing the work. He didn't expect that either. So, um, would you like to search your deck for Gumi? Put it on the bench. There are no more Gumis. This is all I have. I can... I guess I could destroy it. But then he'll send Mega Rayquaza out. So, let me go ahead and use Liquid Blow. Yeah. Let me go ahead and use Liquid Blow, do 80 damage, and... Yep, it was a surprise. Togetic actually did work. So, Fairy Wind, double damage to Gudra. Gudra going down, and he's not gonna put any energies to retreat. Well, let's take a... Let's do, uh, let's, let's do this, guys. I'm gonna... Fix my mistake, drag out a Togetic, and we're gonna finish off this Mega Rayquaza. Goodbye, Mega Rayquaza. All right, and two energy. Oh, that's energy. These are not energy cards. These are prize cards. All those cards go into this card pile. And okay, note to self: do not Lysander and Togetic out. Otherwise, you have to deal with that. And hopefully, yep, I'll be able to get another Sligu coming in. Oh, so this is good. I don't think he has any sort of retreat for, for this deck. Because he was banking on just one one or these low retreat costs. Mm -mm. Perfect. Perfect. Six more cards left. This is, this worked out. That was a lot of problems setting this game up, but I got this. So, gonna put energies. This is four energy retreat costs. Yep, I know it. We both knew it. Got it. Somehow we got it. So here? Well, welcome to the Nakuja match. I'm gonna send out my Gumi, who is pretty, uh, look how happy this guy is. Now, looking at this Reggie Eyes, like, hmm, that's a legendary Pokemon that can one shot me. So he needs to evolve pretty darn quickly. And that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. Let's go ahead and evolve him right now. So you're just gonna instant, K instant level up. So this is like the real rare candy. Sligu, that's all I can do. And next turn, I can just Gudra then. Hopefully, Birch, Birch, you really got, you really got to pull through, man. Uh, you do like observe for reals or do whatever you do on man. So, Sligo is up. It will survive. Luckily, this Regi Ice cannot attack me. And um, well, let's see what it goes. There's a Trick Coin, so he may try to per permanently paral paralyze me. So, I'm definitely gonna try discard this, but it does not work, so let me go ahead and evolve it to Gudra. This Reggie has a very high retreat cost, so if I get an energy, I might just start destroying it. Thank you, Birch! Thank you, Birch! Alright, so, we're gonna go ahead and use Liquid Blow, 80 damage, but he can just permanently paralyze me, so I really hope so. Yes! Yes! I can use Escape Rope and get rid of this Reggie. It's gonna be Kyurem and Lapras. Lapras is lower attack, so I'm not gonna... Well, he, I don't really have a choice. I don't really have a choice. Because it's his choice when I use his escape rope. And 30 damage. I'm gonna, It's gonna be weird if they're all both tails. Nope. Oh, that's all he needed. He's paralyzed. And you know what? I'm, I'm gonna go bang for more cards, guys. I need some more cards. This is not what I needed. Nope. This is not what I needed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use escape rope. Force this Reggie Ice back. And when Gujar wakes up, he's like, where's it? Where's the Reggie Ice? And just gonna slap it. So Lapras is now out. And that's all I can do. I'll just end my turn. I can charge you up to use Shining Breath. But this is a lock. I want the 
worthless Pokemon to be in front. Oh, double colors, but they're no water energies at all. So I'm like, oh, I just do 10 damage. Oh, we Pokemon Center lady healed your up. Okay. So 100 damn 100 hit points left. Oh, if I have a stadium. Oh, my stadium is up. Okay. We're going to use Tierno. Man, where are my mucks? Zero. The, half my deck is gone. They're still in somewhere hiding down there. Let's go ahead and put uh, energy onto Gumi. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and get another Gumi and get the evolution chain going. Okay. I don't think I, I can actually use Evil Soda this turn, so I'll just put them down. So here we go. Liquid Blow on this Reggie Ice. 80 damage, and it is almost gone. So, this is this lock's working pretty well. Exactly what I want. Oh. Okay, 30 damage. 30 damage. Oh, we got the retreat. Reggie is gonna come down and try to put the paralyzed lock. But I got I got this. I got Lysander, so I am paralyzed. Reggie is like, I'm back. I'm back. And he's gonna try to paralyze me. Okay. Well, come back here. Come out here, Kai. You're, you're looks you look expensive. Ton of energies. Ton of uh stuff. Okay. Go ahead and evolve Sligu. And, all right, Grimer, I really need you to come out now. So, Tierno, once again, burning all my Verse Seekers on you. So, let's grab out, let's grab out Sligu. Sligu, okay, and I've got all Gudras. All my Gudras are pretty much good to go. Let's go ahead and put energy on you. And end my turn. All right, so Reggie is like, no, I'm, I'm back here again. And now he's going to try to start charging up Kyurem. Who will get you shot at pretty soon? All right, Tierno. Well, if, if that happens, well, I might just have to live stand or something before it gets ready. Okay. So, I've got a plan. I'm waiting for my mucks and grimers. Usually, I had a Pokemon fan club or grimers right now. There's seven of those cards total. I don't know why I don't have them. So, here we go. We got Evil Soda. Gudra is ready to go. And the next Gudra's reporting in is also ready to go. Here we go. Gudra again. And we're going to use Tierno. Tierno. There's the Pokemon fan club. And I'm going to use this. And yes, it's a tail. So, no energy for you. It's going to take an extra turn to charge up. And we're going to put another Gumi down. I don't know if I have enough. Did I discard? Nope. I can involve all four of my Gudras. Let's go ahead and use Liquid Blow on this Reggie Ice. It's like, oh, oh, he wanted to come back, but he couldn't, he's like, he couldn't, uh, he couldn't do it. Yup, the kid's gonna evolve next turn, and Wally, gonna get it out if I really need to. And Kyurem's like, oh, man, I gotta hurry and get rid of this Gudra. Alright, this is gonna give him the energy and a support card, so water energy. No, it's Zoroxic. Oh, I got this. I got this. Zoroxic, smart move, smart move. So, finally, let's let's get those Grimers out. Three of them all on the back of my deck. Like, I don't know what the heck was going on. So, we're going to go ahead and get Grimer. Grimer. And I'm going to go... Well, I guess I can evolve you. So, I'll evolve you. You know, I'm not afraid of this Lapras. I'm, I'm just not. So, we're going to do 80 damage to this. And this will work out. So, now he's got Zoroxic. It's like, oh my gosh. Oh, he put a... He, He's trying to charge it up. He put a hard charm on, so I may not be able to mm, attack it next turn. Okay. That's not going to work, man. That's not going to work. So, well, I finally got a muck. And if I... If I Wally... I, I have plenty of Gudras. I see that Gudra. I could get the final one up. But I don't... I don't mind. Alright. So, we've got two mucks that just evolved. This is retreat cost of six or... Yeah, that's six. So we're gonna use Liquid Blow on Kyurem, 100 damage. Nope, it's just way too heavy now. Yeah, okay, another muck, but I have no more bench space. They were just too late. All of my Gujars are out now. Oh, another one. You really wanna do that? Okay. So, Burst Seeker, probably a Xeroxic. Probably a Xeroxic. Yep, Xeroxic. And how many energies have I really used up? Six of eight. Okay, poor Gudra. This 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 may this may go out pretty long, guys. Okay, that's all I can do, so I have to end my turn. Man, if he gets an energy on Lapras, this is gonna be pretty bad. So I'm 
I'm probably I probably should have Lysander this. But okay, please don't have an energy. Please don't have an energy. Pokemon fan club. Oh, more choices to Lysander wild type. Good, good. So come on. Show me the show me the money. Articuno, Lapras. I'm not I'm definitely gonna get at, get this glaciate thing. Get this glaciate. So he does not have an energy, that's good. Let's go ahead and use an escape rope because this is going to do exactly what I want it anyways. And we'll just send out this Gudra. All right, Gudra. Let's uh, let's attack Lapras. Here we go. One-shot kill. Oh, not a one-shot kill. I really wish I had the bench space to put out another Grimer, but I had to be careful about that. All right, going to try to slowly charge you up. Rough Sea Stadium. Oh, that's going to heal him. That's going to give him some extra turns. So. So. Okay, that is not going to save Lapras. Lapras is just way too heavy for Retreat Goss, so Gudra's got enough to take it down. Man, I'm... I need that stadium back. going to use Lysander and pull out one of those, pull out one of my mucks. These matches are long. These matches are long. Okay. Let's go ahead and try Lysander. I just need... An escape rope. I used one escape rope. There's another escape rope. We're gonna use escape rope and send this healthy Gudra up. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this. We are going to... Yeah, that's it. We're gonna use liquid blow. Let's... Let's... Should I use my enhanced hammer yet? Yeah, I'm not worried about Lapras. Let's go ahead and hit Kyurem. Almost! It's got 60 hit points left. Kyrum's in this red zone and even does cannot heal it anymore. So we're gonna put an energy on Lapras, and if you see Faring try to get these energies onto the Kyurum, I'm just gonna take it out. I'm just gonna take it out next turn. It may not even survive. So Okay. Come on, come on. Articuno finally comes down because he knows I could potentially do something funky. All right, tails, tails, and all the, if it's another tails, oh, one heads, and it's gonna go to Articuno for sure. Put me asleep. This thing can put me asleep, and it's not gonna go down next turn. Okay, so let's go ahead and. Oh, I don't, I don't really need to worry about this. You know what? Just in case, just in case that didn't work, so th there's no just in case. We are just gonna hold, just in case he has another rocks so they can just snipe off this Kyra. This way I get two prize cards. One. Oh, two. Just use your Zoroxics. It won't matter. It won't matter. This is the last prize cards I need, guys. I think I got this. I think I got this. So. So. Come on. Yup. Man, these matches are long. They're still here. Welcome to the Gudra match. Now, I see a switch there on Lysander, so this game is going to get... Pretty, pretty tough. So, Gumi is starting up. That's exactly what I would like. And let's see, two mucks and a Pokemon fan club. This is going to be pretty awesome. So we got a Porygon. We got a Lugia. I don't know. These these both are pretty pretty bad. So data check. Look through your decks. Shuffle your decks. So it doesn't really, really do anything. It just, I guess, allows you to see the prize cards. So we're going to see a bunch of... All the cards he needs to evolve this Porygon. Porygon's for sure gonna be able to attack pretty soon. So I really need a Lysander of my own. Alrighty. And it's it's just gonna be able to let him look through the deck. I don't know if that's even useful. Because all that's gonna tell you is what well, I guess what's in the prize cards. And it may take like forever. So, what am I gonna do? Pokemon fan club, grab two Grimers out and evolve the next turn. Then we'll just sick him one of them. So hopefully, unless Tierno grabs me like really good stuff, no way. Yeah, I'm not good. I'm gonna just get rid of the Tiernos. Charizard, man, I really need my Lysander now. And my Mux, my Mux come out. This is not gonna be too bad. We're just gonna be pretty bad. So let's go ahead and get two of those Grimers because I have two Mux in my hand. And that, that's it. That's all we can do, guys. I'll end my turn. Yeah. Pretty, pretty awful start. I mean, I'm looking at all these EX Pokemons. Ugh. Another energy. He can attack with Sharpened, or he can evolve it. He should evolve it. What does this do? Sharpened. Oh. 
So, uh, yes, I take 20 damage. Unless he's got a muscle van. 20 damage, you got just gotta evolve right away. So let's go ahead and evolve these. And you know what? I probably need man, like Xandering all these is a pretty bad idea. You know, this seems like the most worthless of all of them. And I'm just gonna go ahead and Lysander it out, and that's it. Buy me some time. And all he'll get more cards, but he needs three energies to attack. If I Lysander this. It could have stoked and keep on using Fire Blast. Or by Lysander, this is. Well. It might just instantly kill me with the double colors. And it looks like this deck has double color synergies because. Look at all these attacks. Double colors, he really chose out Pokemon correctly. So. We finally got a Sligu. Oh man, I have a. I have a Gudra, so I'm not gonna Sycamore. I have another Gumi, and let's put this energy on. And just for safety, we're just gonna use Bubble. Bubble paralyzes Kangaskhan and is paralyzed, but it, it couldn't really do anything anyways. So next turn, we'll be able to start at just hitting this Porygon. This Porygon seems like the most dangerous of all, because it's already fully charged up. So, fun's about to start pretty soon, and um, I'm pretty happy. Okay, but I know he has switches. I saw it. He's gonna put energy on to Kangaskhan, but it, it was paralyzed. You know what? Energy, go away. Go away, energy, please be. Oh, rats. It did not. So, I'm just gonna play this. And, alright, sick of more burst card draws. Gonna lose two of my evolution lines. I can only activate three of them. This is gonna be another Gumi. Um, oh, another enhanced hammer. Perfect. Kangaskhan, you gotta. Yes. It cannot attack. Let's. Move this one, and we're gonna start sniping off stuff. Let's go ahead and put this on you. And sure, I'll. No, there's no more Goomies I could actually use. And we're just gonna attack this Porygon, and it's gonna go down with no. Well, no losing all these energies. Yep. So my opponent stuck two cards in his hand. I know I saw switches. Oh, he's not gonna be stuck anymore. Hmm, this is not good. I wonder if I should Lysander something out. Something worthless. Or should I save it? Okay. You know, he's got, he may get some momentum. So I'm going to go ahead Lysander this is Fennekin out. We're going to evolve. Oh, not this one. Not this one. I, oh, total mistake. Total mistake. You guys didn't see that. You guys did not see that, guys. And... Yeah, I'll go ahead and use this Evil Soda. Let's go ahead and use this Evil Soda on this Sligu. The right Sligu. Oh, it doesn't matter after all. Ah, ha, ha. All right, goodbye, goodbye, Porygon. Did not have even a chance to attack this. Fennekin has three retreat costs, so he needs a switch. And he might have gotten a switch, but look, this thing is pretty fat. It's got 130 hit points. Like, yeah, I'm so I, I don't. I'm, he's so relaxed. He doesn't even care. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, there he goes, Lysander. We're trying to buy some time. So, in this case, I may just have to escape rope. And if he escapes ropes, I'll just Lysander out. So, let's go ahead and escape rope. He's like, yes, I'm going to send out my Lugia. Lugia is going to destroy you or destroy me. So, escape rope. Come on. Come on. And between Charizard and King is Khan, I'm going to pick Charizard, guys. I played escape rope. He may not see this that he had to, to choose. A Pokemon to get out. So, just gonna wait. Lugia is like, yeah, definitely gonna send out Lugia. Now I'm gonna send out this Gudra out, and we are going to use Lysander. So he's like, oh, I could have gotten Lugia, but I'm gonna get this Charizard. I'm gonna get the Charizard, guys. Be a little bit of a risk, but that's okay. Charizard can't even uh, two shot me. So we're gonna use Liquid Blow. Let's get rid of Lugia. 80 damage. Mmm, it's gonna be a three shot until I get my stadium. And Birch. Hopefully, it'll be a stadium. He's got Del Fox. He's gonna give him four more cards. And I don't. He may get exactly what he needs. More Charizards come down. I, I really would like another Muck or just a stadium. I have four of them. I, I don't know why they're not here. Yep. So, it's gonna, what energy is gonna come up? Charizard's gonna stoke up. Please do not work. Please do not. Oh, man, it worked. 
It worked. And I cannot Lysander. That's okay. Because when he uses all these energies up, it's going to be in tough times for him. So let's go ahead and use this Evo Soda. I've got three Gudras ready to go. I'm good. I can survive Charizard's attacks pretty well. Well, two is pretty good, but he has to discard energy. So come on. There is what I need. All my Gudras are now ready to go. And I can just Lysander and something else in a bit. So let's go ahead and snipe this Lugia off. 100 damage. Goodbye, Lugia. Two prize guards for me. Cards I don't need at all. So, it's going to be a problem if Lysander's one of these mucks. Because that's... No. Alright, what do I need to do? I'm probably... Let's, I'm probably going to bank on that he does not, who won't have enough energies to use a second stroke. So I may just pull this out. No, I'm going to pull Del Fox out. Del Fox is most useless. Sycamore. Ooh. What are you losing? You're not losing that much. Okay. Muscle Band. Oh. That was what he, exactly what he needed to survive that attack. So. Got to put some fire energies out. I'm worried about Lysander, guys. This is the only thing I'm worried about. In that case, well, let's see. More fire and cheese? Oh, you're taking them. I saw that. I saw that he has all the energies in his hands. So it's not going to, it's going to be pretty bad. Dimension Valley? What? All right, 140 damage. You know, I got Lysander. I'm going to, I'm just going to Lysander out this Delphox. So, I really want my stadium. Or this is fine. Okay. Well, this is safer. This, I would rather have gotten Sycamore, but... You know what? You know what? This. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Let's put Gumi down. And... This one, let's allow this one to attack. We're gonna play Sycamore. And I may have an escape rope. Oh, I'll just Lysander next turn. So... That is that. We're going to use Liquid Blow to this Charizard. 100 damage. So one more turn, it's a KO. And I'm going to, next turn, we're just going to Lysander out. We're just going to Lysander out Delphox. This is going to be, this is going to work out, guys. Another Fennekin comes down. Man, he's almost out of cards. Oh, that is annoying. So I'm not going to be able to two-shot it. And Gudra is, Gudra won't go down. So... This, this may work out. This may work out. Just checking I, all my verse seekers. There's one more Lysander. I'm running out of options. I feel like I'm running out of options. I may have one more Gudra ready to go. Do I? No. Two of my Gudras are ready down. That is, this is this is a tough game. So he's gonna charge Charizard up anyways. Okay. No, he's like no. I'm not gonna charge up Charizard. I'm gonna charge up this Charizard and try to attack. One, only one card. Well, okay. Okay. So, come on, Charizard. 140 damage, but I survived. Good job, Gudra. And there is a Muck. And now, let's go ahead and Lysander that thing. Where are you? Lysander. We're going to pull you out. Yes. And I'm going to attack. Attack you. 120 damage. There we go. There's only 20 more hit points left. This, this will work out. This will work out, guys. Long match. Gonna put Evolve Raisin. in. Not worried. Not worried. He can't use his Pokemon Power Blacksmith. Oh. Oh, this lock is not going as well as I can. Would like it to. What? Didn't charge up your Delphox? He should have charged up Delphox. And it could attack. Oh, he has a switch. Okay, I see. I see what he. I see what he's going. So now he's gonna have to discard an energy. I don't know if he has enough energies to attack left. Okay. Okay. So I don't know. This could be a risk. What verse seeker? What would you want verse seeker for? Lysander. Lysander would be very problematic. He should get Lysander. And I know that I really don't have... This is my last card, guys. This is the last card I have to use to fight with. So it's going to really suck. Oh, man. A blacksmith. So... If I have Lysander, I, this is the only card that's going to pull out. Pull through. Okay. 
So, here we go. I think I just need to get Raisin, get Del Fox, and I'm good. Get Raisin. Alright, goodbye, Gudra. This card, one energy. Perfect, perfect. And if I get some enhanced hammers, it's gonna be more perfect. Alright, got this. So, let's go ahead and play Tierno. I got Escape Rope. Not gonna be good. Here's the enhanced hammer. Oh, yes. Oh, yes! So, double color is going the way. And we're gonna use my Liquid Blow to take out this Brazen 100 damage. One more prize card, guys, and I'm just staring at this Charizard. Charizard is like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, he only has one energy. He cannot still. Okay. I lost my stadium. Everyone has one less retreat cost, but still has five. Thank you, Mux. And Mux is like, uh, I'm, I'm worried about this Team Magma girl. You just do, do, do what you want, and... Okay. So... It's like, oh, can we go with this victory? He knows it. He knew it. Man, that was a long match. Wait, this deck is, this deck is pretty good. You made it to the end? Through all those matches? Oh, congratulations! So let me tell you what I think about that deck. So Gudra, you know, Veltal and Lugia, just one double cost energy can really two-shot two shot it's gonna be tough to deal with cards like that even with enhanced hammers but in other cases they're gonna be pretty awesome matches which you just saw and it's just pretty pretty cheesy way to win so there's been entertaining to use this deck and it's very cheap to do and hopefully you'll have a lot of fun if you try this so next time is gonna be Greninja pretty cool card I bet you already have one because of the new X, Y, and Blue theme deck. And I'll try to keep this less expensive, so no shamans. They'll definitely come back, so don't won't you worry, unless you don't really like the shamans. But they'll, you know, they'll be coming back. It's a good draw system. Now, moving on, I've recently reached my 3,000 subscriber mark to the channel, thanks to you. So, this new song that you heard at the beginning and now is something uh, I composed recently, and you can download it for free off my website. And moving on, please do subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. If you do already do th those, thank you very much. I definitely love you. So, before I see you next time in the Girls and Ventrals, I'm gonna read the comments from last video on the Agile Slash deck match. So, if you're not into that, I'll see you Monday. If you are, here we go. Let's. All right, let's, see what, let's see what you guys said on the Atch Slash video pretty much yesterday. So, Steve and Michael, I'm starting to believe you actually have psychic powers. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to say on that. Yes, I do have psychic powers. For sure, for sure. Michael C. Hex Maniac exists, so Atch Slash is not quite as good as in the past because he just ruins the party. Well, yeah, you're definitely right on that, Michael C. Thank you. Do it, Dud plays. I can't wait to see what deck you make next. Oh, uh, you just saw it. I hope it was pretty awesome. So, Isaiah Shadow, that Jirachi deck was very interesting. Let's see, it was very difficult to play against, but I'm sure a struggle is definitely interesting. Thank you, Isaiah. Love, stupid. I should call you Smart Love This. Smart Love This, if I was rich, I was buy you a 3DS, a 6th generation game, and tell you to play them. It's the lifeblood of Pokemon. I played some of them, but I don't really want to get DS. I want to. Maybe a smartphone would be cool. But if the next seventh generation comes, so yeah, I will I'll have to think about that. Dwayne, thank you. Dwayne, Fouch. Guess who else works well with fairies? Go Lurk, and maybe Go Lurk Evolution deck with fairy acceleration? Hmm, that might be a cool idea. Thank you for sharing your secret, Dwayne. Uh, George Lucas, from Star Wars. You're the woman, man. I was spontaneous. I just came out of my mouth. I'm glad you found that funny. Thank you. Alex Hollingsworth, since there's so many meta decks using special energies, with Furious Fist Tyranitum deck work well? Just pierce through. Yeah, I really wish I didn't. I'm glad I did not meet any of those because it pierces through everything and can pretty much can KO my Pokemon. Luckily, it's expensive, so... Okay, thank you. Andrea Milano, hey there. I was a player, player TCG 
around the black and white era. Played Rogue Dex, though, coming back to the game. I discovered your channel. You're pretty funny to see. Not a boring channel. Like I just, thank you, man. Thank you, Andre, and I hope you get back into the game. All right, and moving on, Young Badman, that was an intense final match. It's very stressful for me, but I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. Mike, Energy Recycler, pulled it through. You got Mike, that, that, that right there at the end, pulled it through. So, moving on, thank you, Mike. One move, 57, love this deck. You think you can do Reggie Ice from AO? No, it's probably gonna come eventually because that's, that's a pretty cool card. Anti-EX, gotta be a problem. Rainbow Pits, nice to see you again. Nice video, thank you. Diego Morera, got that. I believe Agile Slash is somewhat anti-meta because most Manetric Reggie Ice uses special energies. I I have recorded a match of that in the description. I lost against it pretty badly, but you know, it does work to get those kind of decks. So I guess you're right. And Masi Pajorza, Hasib Batorza, I've noticed some XY promos in your deck. Do you trade or actually buy the product? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Joshua Miller, Dizzy Funk. I just wanted to show you my support. Love the videos. Thank you. Uh, Pyrulin, for energies, would it be a good idea to throw in shield energies? I didn't put that in there because of Togekiss. And you, you mentioned it, but it could. Yeah, I just last survive. Maybe a couple, but every all that makes Tokus a little bit less worse to pull off. And I really want to show some Tokus plays. So that's why I chose not to. But maybe it might make the deck better. Hmm. Synergies. That Jirachi game. Jirachi, huh? So the harder it is, the better the match. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, thank you, Synergies. Waffles. I like how you talk for the card. It adds character. I'm trying to pay attention to do that more often, but it's really. I know it's enjoyable to see so I'll keep on trying to do that thank you waffles evan tienson i think it may help to switch out some cards with switch yes that that one az was probably not enough it's a good idea should do that thank you M mock jason stage two god of war please i really make like to make a deck with that it's just there's just so much damage out i'm not sure if there's a really good cool way to pull all that off hmm that's a tough one. That's a soul one. Now think about it. City of Soul. You always say you're still here. You know, the videos are long, and it's just fun to make a joke. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. And uh, Flash5695. Hey, man, I think all the videos very good. Once again, one question. Do you think it's worth it to buy booster packs for the online game? I buy the codes. Which, because they're much cheaper, but the real card games, so oh, you play in real life, definitely, I think those are better. Now, uh, Lightning Gamer, I really like this deck a lot. Thank you, and Mark Elliott, really like this deck deal. Thanks for the great video, as usual, buddy. Thank you, Mark. So, I've reached the end. And if you leave a comment on this video over the weekend, I'll definitely answer it again. It's, yeah. So, I will see you next time, Metal Girls and the French Bye-bye.